New on daybreak, an insect invasion in Memphis. But you don't have to worry. These insects are in a controlled environment. They are in an exhibit at the Children's Museum of Memphis. And Melissa Moon is live over there this morning where she's been immersed in bugs this morning. What's going on, Melissa? I know you're jealous, Mark Hobo. Well, if you come into your, your kitchen, this is the last thing you want to find. Bugs like this, and then usually you call the bug people like Terminex. And Terminex and bug experts have created an exhibit here at the Children's Museum all about bugs. Well, Harry's Big Adventure is all about insects and the roles they play in our lives. Uh, we have uh, a few of the insects here, like the ones that generally get into our houses are the ones people most worry about are cockroaches. These happen to be American cockroaches, uh, which are common throughout the United States and are probably uh, known as, as palmetto bugs down in the, uh, along the coast and into Florida. I knew them quite well yeah. growing up in Florida. And right here we have some cockroaches from Madagascar, which are one of the largest species of cockroaches in the world. We uh, One of Harry's friends, Harry is the praying mantis, Harry's friends is Pawpaw, the hissing cockroach, and you can find out more information about Harry and his friends at harrysbigadventure.com. Can we but, make uh, it hiss? These are... Can we make it hiss? Maybe see if we can hear it in my microphone. Try to make one hiss. Ah, oh, there we go. So that's a defense mechanism, which is something where to grab the predator, grab it. When it makes that hissing sound, it uh, startles the predator and gives the cockroach time to get away. And these are more like the slow moving, maybe consider the friendly cockroach? Well, sort of friendly, you know, uh, all cockroaches, you, you know, technically can be held. Uh, but these are the ones that are available in the pet trade. Uh, easy to care for. You just have to feed them uh, once a week and keep water in their dish and they're pretty, pretty now, easy to take care of. I said I wasn't going to do this because roaches are my phobia, but here we go. Ah! See, she's okay. a brave lady. Get it off, get it off. <laughs> you can have it back. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, and then we have over here. We have uh, centipedes. Now, centipedes um, generally stay outside, and they, they're called occasional invaders when they get into our house. Uh, actually, in Texas and uh, out on the southwest, you can get centipedes this big and bigger. But around here, they're generally about two or three inches. Uh, centipedes are capable of biting, and they do have venom, so nobody should even try to handle something like this if they we'll were to see one. We'll take your word one. for that one. Okay. <laughs> and this exhibit, it's all inter it's interactive. It can it's see very bugs like this. This room, the kids can come in and play. Right. They actually the uh, they put on they play the bug guy. They put on the Terminex hard hat and then lab coat. They get their little clipboards and they go and find all the bugs that are hidden in the rooms. Kind of like what a Terminex professional would do when he comes into a house. So it's kind of like, bugs, and okay. they love to role play, uh, role play, uh, and act like uh, grown ups. So it's Thanks really so a lot much. of fun. Thanks so much, Joy Hedges, for joining us this morning. This exhibit is at uh, Children's Museum through uh, June, June 13th. So if you want more information on that, just go to cmom.com and you'll find a link on our website. Reporting live at the Children's Museum, we'll be right back.